In this week's video, we are in Madison, Wisconsin, home to the Wisconsin State Capitol, Wisconsin Badgers, amazing museums, and of course, cheese. Join us as we spend 24 hours in the progressive mad city, and yes, we are already planning to go back. We're Zeke and Terry, empty nest midlife travel adventurers from the San Francisco Bay Area. After nearly getting divorced and rebooting our relationship, we decided to focus on our shared passion for travel and adventure. We launched this channel to inspire other empty nesters to get out, get dirty, and live this crazy thing called life by exploring places both near and far. Subscribe to our channel for more Zeke and Terry adventures. And here we go again. Five in the morning, it must be me with my hat on, asking for subscribers. <laughs> we are in Chicago, land of dinosaurs, apparently. And we're going to take an Uber to go get an electric car to drive to Madison. Welcome to Chicago. Well, welcome and goodbye. And goodbye, Chicago. <laughs> It was a brief relationship we had. We are finally on the freeway, on our way to Madison, Wisconsin. It's our first time in Wisconsin. I so... can get you a cheese log. Oh God, that can go so many different directions. Keep your eyes on the road. Friday morning in Madison and we are just catching up after a very long travel day yesterday where we encountered significant traffic getting out of Chicago but we came into Madison Wisconsin and the weather was great it's a super cute college town and today we are off to the Chazen Art Museum for a curator discussion um, but yesterday what was it like yesterday getting into Madison and our experience last night Cool little town, met up with some friends from high school, had a traditional Wisconsin walleye fish fry and cheese curds. Which tasted like mozzarella sticks. Which tastes like mozzarella sticks. And you had a couple of local beers and I that did. was fun. And then we were exhausted and crashed out. Yeah, and just to clarify, the folks we had dinner with last night, Chris and Michelle, I went to elementary school, junior high and high school with Chris. We were all in the symphonic orchestra together. I should never have been playing the cello. I'm not sure how you felt about playing the trumpet. It was painful for me, I'm sure, as well as others. So we had a good time reminiscing last night, but today we are out to explore this amazing college town Very and cool. see what it has to offer. So let's go. Okay, another favorite museum here in Madison, Wisconsin, and another reason to come back since half the museum is under construction. Actually, I thought this half was just perfect <laughs> to double it it's getting big, big, cut it into two and take a nap in between. Didn't Bennett say there are over 20,000 pieces in their collection? Second only in Wisconsin to the Milwaukee Art Museum, which we'll see next week. Well, we'll see, we'll see in the next couple of days and you'll all see next week. Nordic Utopia question mark um, exhibit that is going on right now and it talks about um, African Americans in specifically Denmark, Sweden, Finland and uh, Dr. Um, Ethelene Whitmire who is one of the curators associated with this gave a talk this morning and talked us through and really brought the artists to life. It was absolutely fascinating. This is my favorite for two reasons. One, I enjoy the composition. And two, the artist sold it and loved it so much, he bought it back. 
And this one is my favorite because I love the color composition. I love the sunflowers, but I also love the activism, activism in it that you can see with the cotton fields in the back. Just brilliant. Plus it's mixed media. There are feathers up there as well. What's really fun is our youngest right now is in Stockholm and was just in Copenhagen yesterday. And so to hear um, Dr. Whitmire talk about the art, the artists and the musicians that were in Den Denmark and Sweden, and just to kind of put those two together, I can't wait to go to Sweden next month and be able to potentially seek out some of these artists at some of the museums there. So, more museums! I can't wait. Do you also know what's the uh, commonality between Sweden and Wisconsin? What? Cheese. <laughs> and we need to go find some cheese. Yeah, it's time. So we were out looking for some postcards for our newsletter subscribers. You can subscribe at zekenterry.com and we found Anthology and Little Luxuries, both women-owned businesses, and we found postcards from uh, designed by women artists. So super excited to be sending those out to our subscribers. Internationally. Guess what we found? Cheese. Cheese. in Madison, Wisconsin on the steps of the Wisconsin State Capitol and we are about to try some cheese from the Cheese Mart just down the street and they are all local cheesemakers. Great cheese. Let's see how great it is. But first, one more piece of trivia. Uh, we learned from our friends last night that you have to have a license to be able to make cheese in the state of Wisconsin. But you don't have to have a license to cut the cheese. Oh my god, you're so bad. <laughs> All right, when tasting cheese, you start with the lightest to the darkest. Same thing as wine. So we're starting here with a Gouda, Rika's Gouda. <laughs> Can you swirl cheese in your mouth? No, it just gets all over your cheek teeth. Okay, that was the Marika. I really like that one. Now I'm trying the Sante, I don't know what it is, from Car Valley Cheese. Ooh, he said it was like a Pecorino. It's like a Pecorino. I don't think I've ever tasted a Pecorino before. <laughs> I love a Havarti, but I'm not sure I've had gourmet Havarti. It should be creamy. I feel like I'm in Havarti. It's Havana, not Havarti. Yeah. I like that one least. So this is Pleasant Ridge. This is one our friends recommended. Do you eat the rind? I don't know. I always eat the rind. You eat anything. Mm, I don't know. What do you think? Meh. Oh, these are grass-fed cows. I can taste the weed. <laughs> okay, last one is the Colby. Colby which doesn't look like the kind of Colby we get in the grocery store. You did some pretty big chunks of cheese. This is lunch, what are you talking about? Okay, how is you that? You know what, it tastes like cheese. It's too mild. So we tried five different cheeses. Zeke, did you have a favorite? Uh, the Gouda? The Gouda, the salty one? No. The Sante? <laughs> This is why I don't do wine tasting either. I forget, after a couple of tastes, I can't tell the difference. So what did it look like? It was white. A very light, creamy, mild. So it was either the Sante or the Havarti? Let's go Sante. Oh, the Havarti, yeah, no, it wasn't Not the Havarti. Havarti. Yeah, wasn't Sante. the Gouda, wasn't the Colby, which was the nope. orange one. Nope, Was nope. it the one that looked antique-y? Nope. Nope, okay. it was the Sante. The Sante. Some of them just didn't taste like anything, and one of them was super salty, so at this point, I actually don't know which one was my favorite. I'm gonna have to taste them all over again with a glass of wine. We 
are two for two on free tours in Madison, Wisconsin. We just finished uh, the tour of the Capitol building. They happened to have one at 3 p.m. and it was free. We got up to the observation deck. Highly recommend it. Yeah, and apparently the rotunda is the largest by volume in the United States. And we also learned that their Supreme Court justices of the seven, six are women. It's now 4 p.m. We need to go get the car and we need to go drive to Milwaukee. But I think we also got lucky on the weather. I think we did too. <laughs> All right, well, let's get out of here before we run out of luck. Shiny object, saw the Madison Museum of Contemporary Art and free admission as we were walking back to the car and I could not resist popping in. Uh, definitely contemporary art, really friendly and informative docents here. Shall we go to the car and shall we drive to Milwaukee? I gotta put the blinders on. <laughs> Absolutely. We're here from Monaco Brewing Company, which is a very woke brewery in uh, Madison. And we're, we hit it really quick for a quick beer, a little bit of pizza, pick up a four pack for our friends, Marty and Pam. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, we got a Culver's frozen custard. So this was on our bingo list of foods we needed to try. Okay, now I have the vanilla. Okay, I need somebody from Wisconsin to explain to me well that, why this is so amazing. Madison, thank you so much. This has been spectacular. 